talking about the punch volley today. Uh, so keep in mind that on the punch volley, um, your lower extremities, uh, think about keeping them nice and quiet. Think about keeping your upper extremities nice and quiet. If you had a beverage in your non-dominant hand, or if you had a bowl on top of your head, think about keeping that stable. So everything's nice and stable. Uh, less going on, less that can go wrong. Um, but uh, taking a look at the mechanics with your arm. So focus on uh, understanding what your grip is. If you're in full Western, uh, zones one all the way to zone four are all gonna be taken with a forehand. If you're in full semi-Western, I call this a pancake grip, but from nine o'clock all the way to three o'clock, this can all be taken with a forehand. Continental is your hand straight grip. Eastern is when you slide it over one little notch to your dominant side. Uh, if you were in those grips from zone one all the way to zone three, Okay, zone one, two, three, and four. From zone three all the way to zone one, uh, this is all gonna be taken with a backhand. Uh, you will notice that you can cover a lot more space uh, if the grip is in continental or if it's in eastern. Um, you can cover a lot more space with your backhand if you're in that grip. Um, something I want you guys to focus on is um, that the paddle's connected to your shoulder. It doesn't disconnect here. Anytime that I hit a punch volley, I would say that I'm squeezing pretty hard. I am meeting the second imaginary ball. I'm not meeting the first imaginary ball. Second imaginary ball is out here, and I'm making sure that uh, you know if, if point A and point B were right here, point A is there, point B is here, I'm staying in point A and point B. I'm making sure not to cock. I'm making sure not to add in any of these variables. Main focus is just laying it over, making sure that the paddle face uh, is uh, facing at my target or that my knuckles are leading um, and that I'm, I'm making clean contact and I'm staying uh, in this little small window and I'm keeping spacing from my body. Uh, but keep in mind that anytime you hit a backhand volley, lead with the knuckles. Anytime you hit a forehand volley, lead with the palm. Um, so we talked about the backhand volley, talked about leading with the knuckles. Uh, we have not talked about anytime that you roll over um, or, or, you know, let's say you're, let's say like your ready position is, you know, anywhere from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. It's right in there. Why? Because obviously you can cover a lot more space there. Um, but as it's in here, as I roll over for a backhand, uh, my paddle face is kind of naturally open. So I've got to focus on when I'm in this grip, as I make contact with my volley, I've got to roll my knuckles a little bit. That way I can be stronger and I can get the ball going down. You will, you will notice, or if you haven't noticed already, um, but when backhand volleys get popped up, generally it's because the knuckles don't get situated down. Okay, so you've got to focus on getting the knuckles situated down. Forehand side. Uh, paddle face doesn't lie, uh, palm in the hand doesn't lie, and the hand positioning doesn't lie, okay? So um, I'm gonna really focus on keeping this nice and tight. Uh, there's some wrinkles in the back of my wrist. You should have some wrinkles there. As you're uh, lining up for that forehand volley, think about keeping your arm like a V. V, v stands for volley here. Uh, my elbow's nice and lodged in. There was a ball in my armpit. I could keep that ball in there. Um, but main focus is, is keeping it inside of my peripheral vision, not letting it get outside of peripheral or not letting that ball fall out. Um, you can also consider this idea. If this was your book, it's like you're opening up one little page of the book as you volley. I would say the main tendencies on the punt volleys are overdoing it, uh, over swinging, uh, using too much wrist as you make in contact, swatting flies, uh, making contact too close to your body or making contact when you're too extended. Um, so let's, let's really focus on um, if you want to have some of the best hands in the world or if you want to fine tune your hands, uh, think about keeping your lower and upper extremities nice and, uh, nice and organized or nice and still. And then think about uh, keeping that spacing from your body on both your forehand and your backhand. And you should try to consider that if you're in continental or you're in eastern, taking a good majority of your volleys with your back end. Okay guys, uh, punch volley drill here. Uh, Coach Jim and I are gonna be working with each other. Um, we're gonna be uh, tossing back and forth. We're gonna be catching with our dominant hand. Uh, this is gonna simulate um, essentially uh, hitting a punch volley. It's gonna be the same sort of technique. We're gonna have our, our elbow nice and lodged in. Um, we're gonna have our hand positioning nice and still. And, and you will notice that as we, uh, not as we toss, but as we catch, we're gonna be catching with our arm out in front. It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be too close to us, 
But when we catch and we pause our hand, that's going to be the same analogy as us hitting a punch volley. Okay, it's going to look just like this. We're, we're going to do it for about four or five minutes and then we will move on. So nice and easy here. Good. Keeping it out in front of us, watching the ball all the way in. This is the great low hand and eye coordination drill. Um, think about watching the ball in detail. Any sort of elementary stationary drill like this where we're not doing a whole lot, uh, think about getting the most out of this drill. And I would say getting the most out of this drill would be uh, uh, trying to watch the ball come out of your partner's fingertips. And then think about like trying to see the ball as big as you can, meaning look at the ball in detail, look at the, uh, look at the seam, look at the holes, look at the roughness, plain and simple. Your main focus in this drill is looking at the ball and looking at it in detail. Okay. Beautiful, good. Catching out in front, watching the ball all the way in, even watching the rotation. Okay, we can do this with our left hand as well. Same thing with our left hand. Okay, keep it out in front. Good. Jim, that toss looks great over there, I'll tell you what, man. Okay guys, uh, punch volley drill here. Coach Jim is gonna be acting as a teacher. I'm gonna be acting as a student. Um, Jim's gonna be tossing underhand. Uh, my job is to work on technique. I'm gonna be very stationary. Um, I'm gonna work on having perfect technique on both my forehand and my backhand. Jim's gonna work on tossing and then catching, okay? Um, he's gonna feed me 10 on my forehand and then 10 on my backhand. It's going just like this. Good ready position, I'm at 10 o'clock. He's feeding to my forehand, go ahead. Again, 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 10 o'clock. Good, 10 o'clock. And you see here, he, uh, if, he, um, if he finds my dead space shoulder or finds this little jammed area, uh, as you notice, uh, I am sliding a little bit to my non-dominant side just so I can open up some spacing. So uh, just keep in mind that in this drill, if you're getting jammed, either slide and give yourself spacing or just open up a little space, okay? Here we go. Okay, keeping it out in front, making sure it's nice and tucked in. If there was a rubber band tied up to my body and with my arm, I'm feeling like that rubber band is keeping my, uh, keeping my paddle inside a peripheral. Or, or if I had a ball, if I had a ball in my armpit, same idea, short and sweet. Nice. Okay, and then we will go 10 on the backhand. Backhand side, keep it nice and tight, making contact out in front of me. Finishing at that second imaginary ball. Okay, make sure I'm leading with the knuckles. Nice, good. Also too, something that I'm doing, um, I have more time here, but uh, um, I'm using uh, those fingers again, I'm using my, my middle finger and my thumb, uh, and I'm putting them in the throat of the paddle so I can, so I can help bring the uh, paddle back from my backhand. And then I'm, and then I'm uh, kind of opening up my chest as I'm making contact. Plain and simple, I'm using that non-dominant hand to, to bring it back a little bit um, just to create some tension, okay? A couple more here, turn. Okay. Okay guys, punch volley drill here. Uh, Coach Jim is gonna be in front of me. Uh, the drill is gonna consist of, we're gonna spend about two minutes going forehand to forehand, volleying out of the air, being very cooperative, trying to make each other better, trying to keep the volley in zone four, uh, keeping the hand positioning upright, um, volleying back and forth for about two minutes, and then we'll spend two minutes uh, volleying in zone one with backhand to backhand. Okay, so focusing on good technique here, focusing on being cooperative, and main focus is directional volley. So Jim, right, right in front of me here. Okay, uh, doesn't matter who feeds, nice and easy, volleying back and forth. Good. Okay, um, so as we're doing this, Coach, Coach Jim here, Coach Jim was kind of having a hard time. Why? It's because uh, his paddle is pretty parallel to the net here. So I was telling Jim he should cock that up, open up the face a little bit, get more of that V shape going on, and that will help him out in this drill. So now, now we're kind of treating it like we're giving somebody a high five. Oh, there we go, baby. That's it. That's it, good, good. That's called teaching an old dog new tricks. 
<laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> nice. Good. Good. Hands back to ready. Yeah, yeah, hands back to ready here, hands back to ready. Um, so even though we, we obviously do understand it's coming right back to this area, specifically for this drill, uh, let's not just cheat and camp and say, partner, put it over here. Okay, so make sure that we're always coming back to ready and that we are uh, getting back to recovery here. Okay, go a few more. Volley, back to ready. Okay, out of the air. Uh, uh, hit that thing, Jim. There we go, baby. Come on. Uh. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, good, good. Yeah, it's funny, yeah, yeah. Um, show, me, show me your grip. Come here, come here. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, just think like if it's in here. Uh, yeah, yeah, no. Cock it up. I mean, look, this goes down. This goes where? This goes through you. This goes directly down. Yeah, so I think if it's up there, just cock up that wrist. Okay, now we're going uh, back in a backhand, back in a backhand, leading with the knuckles, being cooperative. Um, keep in mind that when you go forehand to forehand, with really, you know, if you're in continental, if you're in the correct grip, uh, really only zone four is available for your forehand. So you will notice that if your partner is not being very cooperative with the forehand drill, and if they're uh, volleying in zone two or zone three, you're gonna have to get your feet out of the way so you can take all those with forehands. What you'll notice on the backhand drill here is that obviously zone three and zone one can all be covered with the backhand, so there's not gonna be as much movement in this exercise, okay? Jim, ready here? Jim's in front of me. Backhand to backhand. Backhand to backhand. Nice. Leading with the knuckles. Okay. Nice. Nice, good. Good. Oh, good. Again, 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 here we go. Keeping the hand positioning very still. Ball coming. Oh. Good. Nice, good. Pretty, good Jim. Hey guys, game here is gonna be, Coach Jim is at the baseline. He's gonna be dropping and hitting a ground stroke to himself. Um, he is working on good technique, great drill for him to work on a, uh, work on a nice stationary uh, drive off of his feed. And then, then also too, great game for, for me to be taking his drive and then punching a volley. My job is to get my punch volley nice and deep. As you can see here, uh, we don't have our cones with us today, so we're using a paddle to represent that half court, uh, half court line. So what's gonna take place here? Jim is dropping and feeding a ground stroke. I am punching a volley. My job is to punch it deep. Um, the way that you can score in this game is uh, if I can get my volley past the, uh, past the half court line in the back baseline box, I get a point. If I volley short, Jim would get a point, okay? Ready here, Jim? Okay, here we go, game to seven, game to seven, and uh, something, I'm gonna, something I'm gonna add, sorry, something I'm gonna add into this game is that if I recognize that Jim's drive is going out and I let it go long and it goes long, I get two versus one. Most games that we do um, always ties with the fact that if you have good tracking ability and you let one go, you would get that bonus point, okay? Rock and roll, zero, zero. Okay, so score is one to zero. I got my volley deep. Two zero, I got my volley deep. Okay, my volley was a little shorter there, so score is two to one. Okay, my volley was deep there, score is two to two. Okay, three to two. Four to two. Five to two. Okay, that was short. Five to three. That was short. Five to four. Getting some more extension. There we go. Get some more extension here. Six to four. And seven to four. Um, we can play that game both ways cross. We can play it both ways up the line. Um, I personally like that game, especially for lower levels because that side gets to work on uh, hitting a drive from a very stationary position. And then uh, I get to work on punching a volley deep coming off of that controlled feet.